In this world, there is already more than enough strain on us. We don't need to add to it. Ultimately, prioritizing yourself is allowing yourself the space and time to concentrate on your needs, objectives, goals, and aspirations. Additionally, it implies that you extend to yourself the same compassion and understanding that you extend to others. We occasionally confront dilemma in life when we must decide between our own interest and the interest of others. Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. Hello, friends. I'm coming to you again today from my book, The Soft Life. You can download it on Kindle. You can purchase it in print form on Amazon, and soon it will be available on Audible. I genuinely struggle to put myself ahead of others when I have to make decisions of this nature. That may not always be a negative thing, but we need to be able to put ourselves first when it is necessary. It isn't selfishness. Consider the scenario where a friend or relative requests a favor. Perhaps they require transportation, support with relocation, or help with the project. I will naturally prefer to assist anyone in need if I am able. It seems to make sense to put others above oneself in that kind of circumstance. I'm assisting someone and not suffering any consequences as a result. For a very long time, if I was faced with the choice between disappointing someone else or putting my own health at risk or causing a personal financial strain, I would always choose to disappoint myself. I chose to live in agony for an extended period of time rather than to have to cope with the discomfort of temporarily failing someone if it meant not having to let them down. That's obviously not a healthy way to live. And it's also not very respectable or loving of yourself. I've grown in my ability to love and appreciate myself as I persisted on my self-care path. The realization that occasionally I must make the unpleasant decision to prioritize myself comes with that newly discovered love and respect for myself. Remember, you have your own goals to achieve. Your career is in front of you, maybe settling down and having your own kids as well. You have a lot of traveling, learning, and adventure ahead of you. Don't lose sight of your objectives and happiness in order to help others reach theirs. You must have heard the saying, you can't give what you don't have. How on earth can you expect to contribute to others if you're not getting enough sleep, exercise, eating well, and feeling pleased in your own life? To nourish your body, cleanse your mind, and perform at your very best. You need enough sleep, a healthy serving of vegetables, lots of water, and exercise. You cannot possibly be at your best if your health is not under control. Running on empty leaves you with little to nothing to offer others and much less to offer yourself. Make sure you are adequately nourished by taking care of your mind, body, and spirit. This is when you can be fit and even help others. It is excellent to give your time in your community and in order to have a feeling of giving back. You deserve to lead the life you've always wanted. Put yourself first. If you don't do it, no one else will prioritize you. The only person who will put you first is you. Unless you're able to find the most lovely and ideal partner in the entire world, the best advocate you can be is you. You must take a stand for yourself. If you're retired and have plenty of time, money and resources to help others in need, that's one thing. 
However, it's likely that while you're in your 20s, you haven't accomplished or even begun to the goals you aspire to achieve. Your 20-something years, most especially, are for you. Now is the time to travel, so get your luggage ready. These are the years when you can change jobs to discover your dream job. The time is now to experiment with dating, alter your hair, examine your emotions, and learn what life is really about. Loving yourself comes first because your productivity demands your commitment. According to reasoning, you should invest more of yourself in other people in your life than in yourself and your goals. You are instructed to sacrifice and put others' needs ahead of your own in order to grow as a person. You must have heard the saying, you can't give what you don't have. It is difficult for someone who is sad to make someone else happy. The log in your own eyes needs to be removed first. This is when you can clearly see the speck in the other person's eyes and help them remove by removing it. Being selfish and prioritizing oneself are two very different things. If you want to achieve your objectives, you need to avoid drowning. Productivity suffers with disarray. You can't focus and muster the energy required for regular productivity when you feel as though you are being tugged in a lot of different ways. Half-completed ambitions are the result of disorganized mentality. We are aware that creating goals requires having energy and it also requires having strategy. What you hope to achieve has to be at the heart of your plan. You may make a strategy that is focused on the precise task and processes necessary to attain your goal by using self-prioritization. When you operate in a planned manner, you produce more because your attention is on the objectives that you know you would improve and you increase your productivity. When you have the energy to achieve something, I have also begun to understand, as motivational speaker Lisa Nichols says, to honor my highest and best use. That means if someone else can do it, let them. I only do the things that require my attention. That could mean allowing your children to wash their own clothes, asking someone else on my team to put together the PowerPoint presentation, having my groceries delivered, Think and journal about what that looks like for you. Self-prioritization helps set the right boundaries. You instinctively know when it is better to decline an offer. There will always be a contest for your time and attention and pleas for it. Others will take note as you start to boost your self-confidence and accomplish more. Your energy and attention will be needed for this. You won't have the necessary capacity to regularly work towards your goals if you give in to these solicitations. Setting boundaries is essential to achieving goals and leading a healthy lifestyle. You must be adamant about what you will tolerate in your life and what you will not. People pleasing is a tendency of human nature. When you put your attention on pleasing others, you don't enjoy yourself. Set priorities for your objectives and the things you wish to achieve in life. The most important thing to realize is that this is your life. Thus, the emphasis must be on the goals you have for it. Determine what limits need to be established using self-prioritization. Then be sure you uphold these boundaries rigidly. Productivity is only sustained when there is enthusiasm. There are several reasons why people fail to achieve that lifestyle they desire, but one that is rarely considered is a lack of excitement. Your productivity decreases with each passing second when you spend the entire time focusing on tasks that make you exhausted. Letting external factors determine your goals results in a lack of excitement. 
you're not creating an atmosphere where you're placed to be working on your desires if you don't concentrate on making yourself a priority. In order to reach your important objectives and be productive, you will need to put in a lot of effort over a prolonged period of time. To overcome obstacles and maintain concentration, it will take effort and bandwidth. You are not a machine. You are a person. There will be aspects of this process that are not particularly thrilling, but there has to be a balance between work and play. Work-life balance occurs when each aspect of your life is given equal weight. Setting your priorities helps you achieve the balance and increases output. Making plans that are difficult yet thrilling is possible when you put yourself first. You won't have sustainability if you look at what you're working on and it's not interesting. Your productivity will suffer if you lack motivation. Self-prioritization begats emotional freedom. We are wired to accept the burdens of external circumstances. We are instructed to empathize with others in order to be good human beings. By putting yourself first, you'll realize that you are in charge of your life, and that includes your mental health. Setting your needs above others enables you to see that you must let go of their expectations. You must live your life any way you see fit, since it is your life. It's crucial that you make the most of the few years you have left on earth by working toward your objectives and improving your quality of life. It frees up bandwidth and it improves mental clarity to be productive when you let go of external expectations of what and how you should be acting. It's time to live your life the way you want rather than carrying around the weight of what other people think you should be doing. Your plan doesn't have to include meeting the expectations of other people for your life. Setting the objectives that enable you to live a free existence and use your time in the manner that you want is your obligation. By letting go and putting yourself first, you can make yourself a priority. Prioritizing yourself will improve every aspect of your life. You're probably working towards your objectives because you want to improve yourself and design a life that gives you more time and flexibility. Self-improvement and leading a fruitful life are the routes to more financial success, healthier relationships, more travel, and anything else you desire to achieve. When you can maximize yourself, it makes every other aspect of your life better for you. Prioritizing yourself in more ways than words is the first step towards maximizing yourself. When you behave with you first in mind, you'll have the strength and stamina required to work harder for a longer period of time. Focus on improving yourself and all the things you wish to do to put yourself first. While your innermost being may be screaming for you to put others' needs before your own, you cannot offer what you do not have. The finest place to give comes from an abundance-based position, which is attained through improving yourself. If you allow it, the demands and vigor of others might bring you to ruin. When you prioritize yourself, you select where your limits will be placed and don't let anyone cross them. Up until this moment, you have likely spent the majority of your time thinking about other people and external factors. It's time to set aside some time just for taking care of yourself. You deserve to have a fruitful life. Finally, dismiss the notion that there is a problem with prioritizing your objectives and taking care of yourself first. You can always prioritize taking care of yourself while helping others and being available for those who need you. It's not an either or scenario. Instead, you may contribute strategically. All right, friends, 
Let me know how you are prioritizing yourself this week. Put it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.